Water is Water by Miranda Paul, illustrations by Jason Chen. Drip, sip, pour me a cup. Water is water. Unless it heats up. Whirl, swirl, watch it curl by. Steam is steam, unless it cools high. A dragon? In a wagon? A crow kneading dough? Clouds are clouds unless they form low. Misty, twisty. Where is the town? Fog is fog unless it falls down. Patter, splatter. What is that sound? Rain is rain unless it's on the ground. Slash and closhes. Splash to your knees. Puddles are puddles unless puddles freeze. Glide and slide. Put on the brakes. Ice is ice. Unless it forms flakes. Pack, stack, shape it. And smack. Snow is snow. Unless... Spring comes back. Creep, seep, squish in your boots. Mud is mud, unless there are roots. Swig, grow big, reach for the best. Apples are apples unless they get pressed. Drip, sip, pour me a cup. Cider is cider until we drink up. You can check this book out called Water is Water and learn a lot more about water. We'll cover those things right now. More about water. Water moves and changes often, just like children. Also like people, each drop of water travels its own unique path. This story shows only some of many creative ways that water moves and changes over the seasons. Although the characters in this book sometimes heat up, drink, or play with water, nature usually moves and transforms water all by itself through the water cycle. In Water as Water, a cup of water begins its cycle as a liquid, but then it heats up and the white swirl that rises above a boiling pot or a cup of cocoa, it's still water, but we call it steam. It will become an invisible glass in the air. Did you know that the sun, not people, heats up most water? Without forming swirls of visible steam, and it turns into a gas? Whichever way it happens, this process is called evaporation. It cools high... As an invisible gas, water is called vapor. Once vapor reached cooler air, 
often high in the sky, vapors form clouds. This is called condensation. They form low. When water vapor cools and condenses close to the ground, the clouds that form are called fog. Fog is not as common as high-flying clouds and plays a very small part in the water cycle. Bus drivers must be thankful for that. It falls down. Once water droplets inside any cloud become too heavy, they fall down as precipitation. Though rare, water droplets in fog can drip or drizzle down, but most precipitation comes from higher clouds. Whenever water falls down from the clouds as a liquid, it's called rain. On the ground, water that moves on top of the ground is called runoff which often collects in puddles, lakes, rivers, and oceans. Puddles freeze when the temperature drops below a certain point, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and zero Celsius, water turns into its solid form called ice. It forms flakes, and snow is made in the sky when bits of ice form crystals around specks of dust or pollen. As they fall, vapors freeze and stick to each crystal to make flakes. Spring comes back. When temperatures warm up, the snow melt runs off into rivers and streams. Along the way, some water mixes with the dirt and makes mud. There are roots. Seepage happens when water creeps down from the top of the dirt into small places underground. When plant roots absorb this water, it's called uptake. This helps them grow and produce fruit. They get pressed, and although apples are solid, the water inside makes them plump and juicy. Squeezing them releases all the liquid. We drink up. Did you know that you are mostly made up of water? Drink up. Water every day to stay as amazing as you already are. A baby is about 78% water. An apple is about 84% water. Earthworms are 80% water. An oak tree is about 75% water. A cat is about 80% water. You are about 65% water. And a turtle is about 70% water. Water is everywhere. Water covers 71% of the Earth's surface. Of all the water in the world, oceans hold 96.5%, which is all salt water. Of all the fresh water in the world, more than 69% is trapped as ice and snow, and 30% is underground. All the water in the clouds, puddles, mud, plants, and your cup doesn't even add up to 1% of our total freshwater supply. Water is important. Water may seem to appear and disappear, but the total amount of water on Earth hasn't changed in millions of years, and it will stay the same for millions more. Although water changes form, and it gets called by different names... New water is not created, and old water is not destroyed. But that doesn't mean we should take water for granted. In fact, people can only drink way less than 1% of the water on Earth. Almost every time we use water to brush our teeth, take a bath, or flush a toilet, we add things to make it dirty. It's important to conserve it so there is safe and clean water for everyone. The end.